One less cockroach. Prove me wrong. Hate. So much hate. So much misinformed hate. So much cognitive dissonance. So much selective, force-fed ignorance. Why? Why is a 16-year-old child dead? Why was he shot by a public servant sworn to protect? Because he was a criminal. Because he was a young Micronesian Chukis boy caught in the liminal, misplaced, displaced identity, never Micronesian enough, never Hawaiian enough, never American enough, never colonizer labeled enough. People shown a lens that chooses to see our kids as the problem instead of the systemic socioeconomic barriers that barred them. The same system that says stealing justifies a brown child's death is the very system that doesn't hold the colonizer accountable for land theft. The same system where we have to constantly reiterate, articulate generational trauma that's race-based is the very system stripping us of our ancestral landscape, separating us from our indigenous spaces where we can constellate recenter this boy's diasporic identity, displace his self-hate, teach him that as the owner of a Chukis Micronesian migrant identity, his existence as the descendants of a navigating society is the extensive culmination of a legacy of people crossing oceans to build relationships and connection. Relationships and connection in order to be adaptable, in order to be resilient. As a young Bonpan Micronesian migrant woman, I choose to have the audacity to call on those connections my ancestors crossed oceans for. I challenge the relationships that my ancestors and your ancestors forged, abolish, dismantle, transform. Cross this ocean of liberation in community and rebirth the ocean nation that our ancestors dreamed for I Remember Psych Up so that we don't have to worry about our future ancestors and the legacies that we're going to leave for I Remember Psych Up, for the young, for the misled, for I Remember Psych Up. See, the thing that I need people to understand is we can teach the young misled, but we can't teach the young dead. We can teach the young misled, but we can't teach the young dead. Casalelia, my name is Caroline Carl, and home for me is always the beautiful island of Point Bay in the Federated States of Micronesia. Um, I'm currently a Kofa migrant here in the Kingdom of Hawaii and I live and work in Kalihilihi Olaumiha. The ocean for me is what connects me to Point Bay. When you look at that horizon there are other things out there and there are other places beyond what you can see that you're connected to. The other week 
we had a couple of our young kids um, involved with HPD, get involved with HPD, and um, HPD ended up shooting and, and killing one of those kids. Uh, and his name was, I remember, Psychop. Everyone's child has the capacity to be great and they can be taught to be greater. So when you take time away from that child and you end that life so abruptly, you don't actually know what could have become of that life and that greatness. In the context of being a Kofa migrant in Hawaii, and in the context of being from a navigating society and being rooted in that cosmology and that methodology, Aloha Aina for me means building connections. Because where I come from, the people and the land are one and the same. The people and the ocean are one and the same. And so when we leave that and we come here, we look for that type of connection. Um, and we hope to find it with people first. And we hope that it's in, in building those connections with people, we become reconnected to land and to ocean. And then we can begin to practice that same indigenous ideation that we can live in this place and leave it a better place for the next generation. Supporting each other in giving each other the knowledge and the wisdom to speak with love and to, to share what we know with each other so that we all in community can make informed decisions as a community based on consequences of actions. And then support each other regardless. That's what I, I want my, my, my message to be to my community is to support each other. We all need to remember when we look out into the ocean, we're being connected to all of the pieces of land that that ocean touches, regardless of whether we can see it or not. In our cosmologies, that horizon was a beginning. It was never an end.